Hockey Canada is honoring hockey heroes and communities across Canada. This is Michael's story. I didn't want to be someone to come in and say, you know what, this community needs soccer, this community needs a baseball league, I'm going to do it. I wanted to hear kind of what the people said they wanted. And, and about January last year, I had three high school girls come up to me and say, Michael, we want to play hockey. They asked me if there was anything that I could do to help them play hockey. Fast forward almost one year and Zanny Kilowack is now running a female hockey program. One that wasn't easy to get started. But thanks to a big assist from Canadian Tire Jumpstart, which donated $20,000 worth of equipment, young girls in this remote Nunavut community now have an outlet in sport. I'm hoping it will help them build confidence. Confidence in themselves, confidence in the ability to try new things, and um, the ability to take chances. Um, I'm hoping at some point um, we get to a level where we can actually start going out to tournaments and then that will give them even more experience of being able to visit bigger communities and see different ways of life and hopefully take on a bit more of a global vision. I'm so thankful that he's here and we wouldn't be like this if he wasn't here. He asked me when when we played hockey, he said, where's the, all the girls? I just told him they had no equipment. He's important, so yeah, that I can stay here more or like I can learn more hockey. Ah, he loves hockey. And people like Mike are key. Um, they're so important to the situations like this and in areas like this where they come up and they're devoting their time uh, just to make things better in the area. What he's doing around here, he's a teacher full time, he's on the ice coaching the girls, he's doing other sports with the girls and he's trying to bring out that opportunity for them to to find out what they're capable of. He's been the backbone of the operation, connecting with Canadian Tire, bringing in the equipment to these girls and giving them the opportunity. He monitors it, he keeps it going, he does an amazing job in the school, outside of the school and somebody like him kind of shows what you wish you could do all the time he's actually doing with his life and, and giving back to the community full time is very inspiring. In a way, Michael's life has come full circle. He has become the role model he relied so heavily on as a child. I grew up in a very difficult household um, with a parent who was both an alcoholic and in and out of prison. Um, so I know the importance of having a positive adult role model. Um, for me, I often sought that in coaches for hockey, teachers, and um, leaders at my local recreation center when I was growing up. They were, for the most part, my role models growing up, and I saw stability in them. When I would go to the local rec center, I knew this person would be working, I knew the rules, and it was a very, I guess, calming, stable force in my life. And, being able to provide that for children now is something that's very important to me. Okay, Michael did a lot for you guys. He's the one who got us to come here. He's the one who did all the hard work to get you guys the Canadian Tire equipment. So we say thank you to Michael. With a little ambassador on the back. Mike, so you come up here. Very welcome. Thank Keep you. doing Appreciate what you're doing, buddy. Thank you. Hey,